back in my hand. SE boy. BBK member, I'm an OG. SB. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Instinct Podcast with your boy Cornell back again. And today I am doing a match rating. This is the first time I'm doing a match rating for my YouTube channel and my YouTube video as well, too. Um, of yesterday's game um, against um, against the Blackpool, where we drew 2-2 after coming from two goals down and really, really showing the determination and the guts and the, and the, and the determination of never giving up and never say die. Um, so before we get in the video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, leave a comment down below. Tell me your rating, who stood out for you from start to finish. I'd, lo I'd love to hear your opinions. I'd love to hear what you guys think. So um, without further ado, let's get on with the Instinct podcast show. So obviously, I'm going to go through the whole ratings. I'm going to go through the whole players and I'm going to rate them from, you know, 10 out of 10 lower. Not, not too low because you don't want to be too negative on the players because it's not their fault. Um, of course, obviously, the first half didn't go well, to be honest. You know, we conceded two goals, which were brilliant goals taken from Blackpool um, for me. But, you know, you've got to give ratings where it's due on who played well, who could have done better and how they could have improved. So um, let's start with with Alex Palmer, of course. I mean, Alex Palmer pulled off some good saves. I mean, he was very unlucky with the with the with the first goal that we conceded um, against Blackpool, and I mean the the Sims goal that 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 Sims scored for Blackpool, it was a very good goal. It it was a well taken goal, and Alex Palmer had no chances of 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 saving that. No no goalkeeper would not save that. Period, whatsoever. Um, the second goal maybe could have done a bit better, but you know, listen. You know when 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 we brought when Appleton made the halftime changes of Anderson Scully coming on in second half, and then of course you know Walsh coming on as well, which made a difference. Um, it kind of really boosted the team. So for me personally, the goalkeeper for me, I'm gonna give um, Alex Palmer. I mean, other other than that, he he did pull off some good saves. Um, um, throughout the the second half, and then of course in the in the set in the first half as well, before conceding them two goals from the first and the second half. So for me, I'm going to give Palmer a nine. Um, defensive wise, um, Regan Paul was a little bit quiet in the game, didn't kind of really do much. But you know, listen, he's going to get better after game, after game, after game, after game. So um, that's how I I I believe it. But for me, um, I'm going to give um, Regan a nine. Again as well, because didn't see much of him really, to be fair. Um, Lewis Monsima put in some good tackles. Um, you know, obviously, um, in the game, you know, quite critical, obviously, but still missing the link-up play between him and Walsh. So, for me, uh, it's another nine for me, for Monsima. Um, Jackson. Uh, I'm going to give Jackson an eight, because, I mean, obviously, Jackson was, was, was quite brutal when it came to the to the tackles and when it came to was quite um not was a bit I don't know the word exactly but I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him um an eight obviously for me. Um and then Bramall for me a bit quiet in the game so I think for me another eight obviously. Um midfield obviously I thought Sanders had a good had a decent game so I'm gonna give Sanders a nine. Um Eden bit quiet in the first half and the second half had to come off obviously um for jones for james jones um i mean obviously i'll give him an eight james jones in the game off or despite him coming on yeah another eight as well mcgrandall's for me 10 out of 10 is a 10 for me because he was brilliant from start to finish putting good tackles made a difference and made sure obviously that we get back into the game. Um, and then up front for me, um, obviously I, I think Morgan for me was, a, I'd say an eight for Morgan. Normally I would have given him a 10, but obviously was, wasn't was much in the game as much as, as I'd normally would thought. Um, Brennan, 10 out of 10 for me. 10, 10 for me. Um, Brennan, a 10. Um, Morton for me, was too be quiet, had a chance, had a chance in the first half. Um, 
of course, in the second half as well. Could have done better with it, but, you know, it's not his fault anyway, to be honest. Um, but Scully, for me, is a 10 out of 10. To score that, to score the first, the, the pull the goal back, and then and then Brennan to finish it as well, and to assist Brennan in scoring that goal, it took a lot of guts. And for me, 10 is for, is, is for Anthony Scully. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, love to hear your thoughts about it and, and give me your ratings of the, of the players of yesterday and, and, and stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video.